everybody, it's Collector Daddy, and welcome back to the Collector Daddy channel. And it's that time, it is that time that comes every four years. It's the FIFA World Cup 2018 Russia sticker collection from Panini. So we've got here today, and this comes out uh, officially tomorrow, but it seems to have been in all the shops today. We've got the starter pack, which includes the album and 31 stickers. And we've also got 50 whole packets there to show you, so we can really give you an idea of this set. Now, before I carry on, I just want to say a couple of things. So, obviously, the starter pack comes with the album and the packs of stickers, five packets of stickers. Now, this is $3.99 in the shops, which is good um, value, I think. The stickers, and I know this is quite a talking point at the moment, are actually 80p a packet this time round. So they are quite expensive, and I know there's a lot of uh, concern over this. Um, but I'm not going to dwell on that. It's still an awesome collection. So what we want to do is show you some of these car, uh, stickers. So hopefully you'll get to see a lot of the stickers. You won't see all the stickers today uh, because you need a lot of packets. Um, there's 137 packets worth of uh, stickers to get. Um, and obviously you're not going to get that off 137 packs, you're going to get swaps, but there's a lot of stickers to show you. But hopefully you'll see a good variation here today with the 50 packets we've got here and the 5 packets we've got here too. So, we'll open them up and we'll take a look inside. So we did an album first because obviously we need to see the album. So, this is the FIFA World Cup Russia 2018 Panini sticker album. Oh, download the app and start your digital collection now. I've the 682 stickers I think I was reading, or 632, 682 I think. So there's a lot of stickers to collect. So I don't think I'll have time to do the app and also collect there as well. Um, but it might be something that uh, you want to do at home. So that's a cool uh, little thing to do. Now let's take a look. Let's get these packets out. Let's throw that away. We don't need that. And we've got five packets inside. So I guess that'll be, there's five stickers in the packet. And I don't know if you can see this, but they've got like a holographic pattern that says Panini. It's all very good. Uh, and they look pretty cool. And we've got the album uh, as well. Now this album also has two stickers in the front and four stickers in the back. And that's how it makes up its 31 in the start pack. So let's take a look inside. So it's an, actually it's a nice colour cover to be fair. It is a good album. It's quite a thick album as well. It's quite uh, well built. So you've got here, you've got sticker zero, 00, get the FIFA Digital Trading app. Um, you've got sticker number one. Uh, you, your name, you can have your own sticker made, get the sticker app, get the app and create your own sticker, which is cool. Um, then you've got, obviously, these are going to be like the badges and things like that and, and so on that you normally get in these albums. And then I'm pretty sure, yes, yeah, so we've got the stadiums in Russia. So that's pretty cool, all the different stadiums. Stadiums, yep, yeah, stadiums. And we've got, uh, oh, cool, uh, more stadiums by the looks of it. Okie doke. Now, apply for your tickets now. Hmm. Complete your Panini Digital Sticker album on there, on that website. That's cool. Lots of adverts this time around. They're really trying to cash this in. Uh, extend your experience uh, so you can make your own sticker and so on, like we've already seen for some reason. Uh, get 33 free digital packs by looking for codes when you collect team badges and Panini Night stickers. Cool. Panini Night stickers. That's interesting. So we're on to our teams now. So our first team, obviously, because um, they tend to do that, is Russia because they're the hosting uh, country so that's pretty cool so you've got Russia there and as you can see there's a sticker there for the badge there's one for I'm guessing either the stadium oh it'd be the team actually because we've seen the stadium and then you've got all the players and, and it tells you the groups that they're in and also the uh, matches and you can put your scores in there as well and so that's pretty good so you can use this to catalogue your uh, sort of fixtures and scores so that is alright actually that's good Saudi Arabia Egypt uh, Uruguay Portugal Spain, Morocco, I wonder actually just while we're looking through this, Islamic Republic of Iran, if it's hard to get the shinies this time round, because the shinies were quite sparse last time, uh, France, and who else have we got, Australia, Peru, Denmark, and as you can see the layout on all the pages is exactly the same, because obviously it keeps it uniform with them being the teams. Uh, Argentina, Iceland, Croatia, uh, Nigeria, Brazil. That's a good place in the Brazil team, to be fair. Um, Switzerland, Costa Rica. These pages are weird. They're quite 
glossy and they stick together. Serbia, uh, Germany, and we're so far up to 451 stickers. Mexico, Mexico, Sweden, Korea Republic, Belgium, Panama, Tunisia. Good variation this time around. England, there we are. Not too far away from the back, eh? Uh, Poland. Uh, Senegal. Colombia. Japan. Now, Russia FIFA World Cup 2018 qualifiers. So little pictures of the qualifiers. Probably would have been better to do those as stickers, to be fair. They would have been quite cool stickers, but... Hey, uh, Russia 2018. Uh, shop online. More advertising. Here we go. FIFA World Cup Legends, multiple winners. These are the types of stickers I like. Uh, FIFA World Cup Legends, history makers. I don't know what these knights were that they were on about then. If anybody knows that, let us know. Now, on the, to order the stickers afterwards, you can order up to 15 stickers. I think normally they cost about 16p, and that's actually how, exactly how much the stickers cost. Uh, so we'll see that when that comes available. Uh, so that's pretty good, though. It's a decent built album. It's got a, like a sort of cool textured finish of a pattern on the front, so that's a good album. But now, the thing everybody's looking for, of course, the actual stickers. So these were the five sticker packets that come inside the start pack, and the only difference you'll see between them is on these ones as opposed to ones you buy in the shops, they don't have a barcode because obviously they're inside the starter pack and they're not to be sold separately. So let's have a look. Uh, Andreas Bjelland, uh, Sammy Kidira, Cristiano Ronaldo, that's a good one to get in our first packet, Antonio Rukovina and Dennis Zakaria. Now, as you can see, you've got the sort of initials for the, uh, for the country, the badge of the country, uh, the year 2010, 2016, not sure why that's on there. Uh, the date of birth of the player by the looks of it. Um, their uh, height, I'm guessing, and for some reason their weight and the team they play for. Wow, that's uh, that's quite different actually. So that's cool, that's pretty cool. Okay, so there you go. So that's our first stickers. Not a shiny in sight yet, but that's understandable. We've only opened one packet, so... Let's crack on and look at the rest. Uh, and what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to read all the names out. A, because I'm terrible at pronouncing the names, as I'm sure you're all aware from my videos, but also because there's so many packets here to go through. We'll be here all night. So what I'll do is I'll just make sure I do it at a speed that you can see them. And obviously, any sort of ones that stand out, I will highlight, of course. But standard panini size stickers for the football collections. You know, they're quite compact. Uh, but that's because, obviously, there's lots to put in the album, to be fair. Um, so it's pretty cool. I do like the design, actually, on the packets as well. Um, they are a they are a cool colour packet, to be fair. They're pretty cool. It's a bit like the uh, Euro ones. Uh, so let's have a look. And for some reason, they come some way up, some upside down, some the other way around in the packets. I don't know why that is. But there you go. Now... We shall carry on with these. <clears throat> Let us know if you are collecting this set. We're quite interested to see who's collecting it and who's not this year. Oh, we've already had him already. Wow. In the start pack, we've already had a swap. I think we had him as well. Ah, but we have got a shiny now. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Kaliningrad, Kaliningrad uh, Stadium. That is a cool. The stadium stickers are really nice, actually. That's cool. And... We've got a Switzerland uh, badge, so that is pretty nice as well. So the stickers, actually, the shiny stickers are very, very good. Roma Lula Kaku. Uh, so that's really good, actually. So they look good, so I'm happy with that. Um, they've done well there. Uh, but, yeah, let us know if you're doing it. Um, put a yes if you're collecting it or a no if you're not. Um, because we want to sort of understand how many people are going to be collecting it and how many people aren't. And and if you've cl completed it, I saw someone was selling on a line already a full collection of this on eBay. So somebody's already, probably someone that knows somebody that works at uh, Panini, I'm guessing. But uh, someone's done a full collection already and they're selling it for about £170, I think it was. Uh, so someone's took the time to, well, not necessarily time, but it's broken a load of packets down. Um yeah, and done it already. That's cool. That is an Egypt uh, team. Uh, and there you go, Chiku Kuyati. Right, we are on to, and they're there, we are on to our full packets now. 
at our normal packets. So we will go through these. And this is good. The shiny yards don't seem too bad. I've had another shiners already. Marcus Acuna, Jordi Alba. Legends. That is an awesome sticker, actually. They're really good. So well done, uh, Panini, for that. That is brilliant. Miroslav Close. Uh, and that is a Legends one. That's very good. Now, do these have codes on? No, they don't. I wonder what the ones that say Knights are that have got codes on. That's cool. Uh, but that is awesome. That's a very good sticker. I like those a lot. <clears throat> That's brilliant. Now, when I bought these from the shop today, I picked up, I managed to get 50. They had boxes and boxes of them. But I'm sure there was two, 50 wasn't even a full row. I'm sure the boxes in the shops I went to wasn't like a packet, a box of 100. I think it was a box of 200 or something. Uh, so I'll try and find out on that and update you. But yeah, it was a massive box. Like I say, I only grabbed about half of one of the runs, I think. And that ended up to be 50 packets. Well, actually, there's 51 packets here. I bought one over by mistake. But hey, that's just a bonus for us. Um, but yeah, yeah, these stadium stickers are good. They're weird because the stadiums almost don't look real. They are real. Are they computer drawn? I can't tell. Um, they almost look like they haven't been built yet. Maybe they haven't, I don't know. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Ekaritinburg Host City. That's a pretty cool sticker, actually. That's very good. So there are a couple of variations of stickers in there. That's always good. I like it when they mix it up a bit and it's not just the teams and the uh, players and the badge when I mean, they do put a few extra in there so that's one with a code on there and that is Belgium so that's a team sticker so oh there's another team sticker in the same packet Nigeria as well uh, that's good excellent now what we will try to do we got. We try to uh, make these available for swap on like the uh, on the Collector Daddy Trade Store or through Instagram and Twitter and all those. But the demand we get for it is so high. Sometimes we can't reply to everybody. So apologies if you don't hear a reply from us uh, straight away. Or to be honest, possibly even at all because we just get unindated and we try to do swaps sort of where we can. Um, so yeah, just message us on social media, and if we can do a swap for you, we will. So yeah, there you go. Uh, Adim Ebrahimi. And like I said, I'm not going to read them all out just because there's going to be so many here with 50 packets. That's 250 stickers, which actually isn't too bad to say 250 names, um, but it will slow us down somewhat um, in showing you the stickers. So we don't want to show you, uh, don't want to take too long on them <coughs> right uh, Alejandro Cassetti Vincent Company, Uruguay and Argentina again two uh, club uh, teams in one packet that's twice now already so that's pretty good actually happy with that and we've got another shiny as well so it does seem the shinies are a bit more common uh, this time around which is well done Panini I'm, I'm happy about that Made a good uh, choice by doing that there. Australia's badge, that's pretty cool, to be fair. They look very similar to... Obviously, they've got this sort of pattern here, which is the styling for the uh, Russia 2018 World Cup. Uh, but they do look similar to the one they did in 2016, the uh, Champions League, was it? Or the Euros, wasn't it? Euros. Uh, so, yeah. I have a racket tick. If there is a hundred in a box, um, this time round it's going to cost. That's cool as well. It's going to cost you eighty pounds to get a full box. Um, I think it must be a hundred because I've seen. Actually, guys, to be fair, somewhere that's good to tell you. If you are wanting to get a full box, anybody out there, um, I noticed on Argos's website they're selling a full box for sixty nine ninety nine, or looks like a full box anyway. So that's good. So if it is a hundred packets, um, you're effectively saving ten pounds on buying them separate. Um, so that is pretty cool, actually, Soki. Uh, so, yeah, so that's that's another money-saving tip from Collector Daddy. That is. I say that now, but it probably won't be 100. <laughs> uh, so, Paolo Hurtado, Nicolas Ladirio. I'm going to try reading some of these. Jesus Gallardo, uh, Giannick Vestergaard, and Hamza Mendel. I think I did all right there. 
Right. Next we've got uh, Christian Gamboa, Granite Zarka, uh, Usami Hadadi, uh, Josip Pavaric, and Alan Zegov. Let us know as well what you want to see. Obviously, we're trying to do these because we know um, it's a big thing, the World Cup sticker album. We do like collecting this. We've always collected the main football sticker albums. But if you want to see any more of their cards, the Russia 2018 cards, if you want to see any cards from other uh, companies and so on, tops, um, just let us know and we will uh, do those too. We're going to do some more. Um, of the other collections uh, very soon but obviously we could not not do this and we will do some more we'll try and get if we can a full box if a full box is 100 we'll try and get a full box of the cards and show you the full box because uh, we think that would be cool as well Deli Ali looks a bit weird there I don't know why he looks a bit odd he almost looks like his face is drawn or computer added on I think it is you know or his hair I think that's been photoshopped that picture of Deli Ali if anybody knows, confirm with us if you can, but because that really doesn't look like him uh, too much. Abdella El Said, uh, Mataz Hosori, Jens Stryger Larsen, and Luis uh, Tijada. The good thing, actually, the one thing I do like about Panini stickers is the packets open really easy on the football ones. Not so much on some of the other ones that have like double size stickers, the other collections, Nigeria team, that's cool. Um, but on their World Cup ones, because obviously people they know people will be opening lots and lots of packs in succession, they're really easy to open. Like, I don't know if that's just by chance, but I always find um, they're very easy to open the packets. Diego Costa there, that is cool. This is going to take a while actually, so I've got 250 plus 25 in there. 275 stickers to sort out. Um, so this is going to be fun sticking these in today. Uh, tonight. It's a good mixture actually so far. Looking at what we've seen, sticker wise, you get a good mixture of teams. There hasn't been <clears throat> loads of just one team. I always find sometimes around you normally. I always find, I don't know what yours is, I always find I complete Croatia for some reason first. That always seems to be the team I fill first. Brazil's normally one of the hardest. France, for some reason, sometimes you can't complete uh, for a long time. And again, England, it's always the team that, uh, you know, obviously our country's team that sometimes you struggle on as well. But let us know if you've filled any of the teams already. And oh, that's cool, FIFA. My game is fair play. That's a cool one, fair play. Oh, that's number one. So that's sticker number one. Carlos Sanchez. That's cool. So we've had sticker number one. Normally the first four or five stickers, maybe a bit more in the album, are obviously special stickers, but a lot of them are shiny as well. There's like normally the World Cup and the little that guy, the Panini guy, um, in either shiny or non-shiny. Uh, so pretty cool. Jimmy Demas. Kasper Schmeichel, he looks different there. Sebastian Larson, Danny Alves. Uh, Denmark, cool. There's going to be so many people swapping these tomorrow in playgrounds across the country and even in workplaces. Um, there's going to be a lot of swapping of these going on tomorrow, I'm sure, uh, because they're out today. It's a uh, <clears throat> little collector daddy fact for you. Uh, last World Cup was the most successful sticker album in the UK of all time. They sold something like 3.5 million stickers I was reading in the news today because there's quite a lot of news about this collection out today uh, in the press and, well, in the online news. I don't read uh, sort of newspapers as such anymore, but um, I noticed there was quite a lot about it, a lot about the price, but also a lot about the sort of stats of it, and it was quite interesting. Um, and since when they've been doing the sticker albums from, I think it was 1970 or something like that I was reading, um, so yeah, there's a lot of cool news about this collection at the moment because it is a big collection and you do find <clears throat> it's good if you're looking to buy these stickers because you tend to find everywhere get some. When the World Cup's on, all the supermarkets, all the um, news agents, oh, that's cool, look at that one, that's a nice one, uh, sticker number 29. Uh, but also you find the, um, oh, that's cool as well, Samara as well, that's awesome. Was that oh, one called Samara as well? Yeah, that's Samara too, no way. Host City, Samara. And then there's the badge of it as well, that was cool. <clears throat> Sorry, the stadium. Um, but yeah, there's everywhere tends to sell these. You find shops that you'd never think would have stickers. 
can't think what it was, but there's a couple of places I went last year and I thought, you're doing stickers? It's great. Um, so, yeah, it, it is good because it does make it really accessible for everybody to get them. Um, I don't know if that'll be any different year with the, this year with the price increase, but everybody seems to like to uh, sell the stickers, which is awesome. It makes it nice and easy. You can always drop in somewhere and pick some up if you need to get a few more for your collection. What we're going to try and do, we're going to try and... <clears throat> we're not obviously going to complete this in record time, because if I want to complete it in record time, we're just going by like five or six full boxes. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to sort of do a real-time um, sort of collection of, of us collecting it, completing it. We're going to see if we can do it within like a week or so, maybe a couple of weeks. Um, and although we do get to swap sometimes... Um, it's not as good as I remember when I was a kid at school and you could swap with all your mates on the playground. That was awesome. Um, but obviously we've been a bit of a bit more grown up now, not completely grown up. Um, you find it's harder to do swaps with people. So I tend to have to buy the stickers or just buy more and more packets. But what we're trying to do, we're going to try and complete it within, say, like a week or maybe two weeks. And then we're going to post a full video of the album. Um, and I'm sure people will beat us, don't get me wrong. Um, but we're going to try and do it in reality and show you sort of how long it will take to actually complete. Uh, that's cool, sticker 20, and that's obviously a two-part sticker. I didn't notice there was two parts. Joe Hart, somebody, they do look different. Maybe they've just, I don't know, they just almost look like they're photoshopped, though. Uh, England players. Kim Jin So. Another team, France, another team, England, excellent. Very good. That was a good packet. But we do seem to find that we've had a lot of packets so far where if you get one tea club team, you get another team. And look at that one. That's is uh pretty sick. You've got the mascot there, um, and that's a two-part sticker. Oh, two shinies in one pack. You can't beat a double shiny pack. Serbia, and then three of the players. Excellent. Excellent, Smithers. Right. Mario Fernandez. Uh, Sergio Ramos, Carlos Salcedo, uh, Hannes Haldorson, and Jesse Lingard. Uh, Saman Godos, Idris Aguay, Ahmed Hagazi, Emery Khan, and Raja Nangolan. And we're nearly through already. That's gone really quick, actually. I can't believe how quickly we've got through 50 packets. I say quickly. We're on 22 minutes already. But, uh, oh, well, look at that. Double club pack. Uh, Peru and Colombia. That was awesome. But, yeah, we're nearly through already. There's about eight packets left there, I think. That's uh, That was quite quick. It's because they are easy open packets as well. Spain, another double club packet. Switzerland, Hugo Lloris, Denis Glushikov and Mohamed Elbarak. Uh, oh yeah, I'm not even going to pronounce this. R Ramiro Funes More, uh, William Kvist, Emil Kraft, and a Matthias Vecino. I will give him a attempt. Juan Guillermo Cuadrado. It wasn't that bad, actually. Just a long name. Right. <clears throat> Last couple of packets. I think there's one, two, three, four, five there. And we've got these ones here. Oh, cool. St. Petersburg. That's cool. Doesn't look that big actually for for, for uh, forty pounds worth of stickers almost. It doesn't look that big at all. Marcus Rashford, that's cool. Nizi Novgorod, uh, Johnny Acosta, Quan Chang Hoon, and Roman Torres. Yeah, Marcus Rashford, cool. Very good. Last few packets, nearly there, people. And looks like there's uh, another Juan Guillermo Cuadrado again. And another Ramiro Funes Mori. So we're both in the same packet last time. Um, and we've got Germany and Victor Moses. Right then. Uh, we've got here Andres Iniesta, Alexander Golovin, uh, Kalidou Koulibaly, uh, Belgium Shiny and Serbia team. Come on, let's get a couple more shinies for our last couple of packets. And uh, we have as well. We've got one shiny here, so that's good. Uh, Nacho Monreal, uh, Mil Jedinak, 
Milos Degenic, Iki Chukwu is anywhere. And then the bottom part of the Russia World Cup 2018 sticker. So I think that's the bottom part of the one we had before the mascot. So that's actually awesome. That's really lucky, I'd say. And finally, last packet. And in our last packet, we have Gustav Svensson, Sadio Mane, uh, Alex Iwobi, Lionel Messi. What a cool packet to finish on. Some good players. And Nabil Dira. So there you go, everybody. And I'm just going to put that one there to show, show that one there. So that is cool. That is this year's uh, and this World Cup's FIFA World Cup Russia 2018 sticker collection, starter pack, and a whopping 50 packets. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Definitely stay tuned for more of these. We'll be doing a lot more of these coming in our following videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.